So we have a few projects right now. We actually have three under construction with ICF. We're here at our Balancing Rock in particular, showing you the Fox Blocks product we're gonna be using. Now, with our ICF, so working with this client in particular, it was really important for them. They're coming from out of state, you know, not accustomed to the desert, especially here in the natural desert. You know, when you're living in Phoenix and you're in the farmland, maybe the East Valley, uh, it's not as common, pretty rare actually, that you'd see, you know, rattlesnakes even, Gila monsters, tarantulas, scorpions, just being open on some of the wildlife that's here in the natural desert. Now, in North Scottsdale, it's a little bit different. We have a lot of natural desert. Again, we have preserves. So that wildlife is living out here. You're gonna see bobcats out here. You'll even see deer out here. And so our clients, of course, are like, hey, how can we prevent the home as much as possible from any critters or any, any unwanted guests into the home? ICF is a great solution for that. So one of the benefits from ICF is that it keeps out bugs, right? And that way we're only dealing with the penetrations and access points of the doors. So doors, thresholds, multi-sliders, you know, that area we have to keep it in consideration. But as far as ICF itself, it's great for bug maintenance, right? And preventive maintenance. Number two is dust. We get a lot of dust in Arizona. We get these dust storms, uh, high winds in the summer. And so what's really convenient is that with the ICF construction, that it keeps dust out because of impenetrable, right? That we have the foam, concrete foam. Now let's talk about just heat, right? As we're looking to build a home that's energy efficient. So from a heat factor, as you can see here, we have rigid foam and we have concrete and foam, and this is over an R20 wall. And so this is really good for energy efficiency in the home because the foam helps protect that, it limits that thermal transfer of heat. You know that concrete normally would suck in that heat and transfer it through, but then with the barrier on either side, it protects that. So this is a great value add with SIPS trusses to have an energy efficient, hence the reason we use in our net zero build to achieve that high energy efficiency. Another reason I really like it as well is sound. So as you walk into an ICF home, there's a distinct difference in the sound, right? It deadens the sound, it's quiet, you don't have as much noise from the outside. Really, you're only dealing again with your windows and glazing as far as any sound points into the home. So ICF works great for bugs, works great for sound, works great for energy, right? These are all very convenient. Now, what you can do is that if the home is planned for it, you can add another layer of foam on the exterior wall. So go double layer and that makes it over an R30, right up to an R, and in some cases up to an R30, but depending on how thick the foam is, but that adds a lot of value to the exterior wall. In this case, we're just gonna pour the concrete and the way this happens, right? These are installed like Lego blocks here. And so you can see these are all stacked, they interlock, and then we're gonna run rebar, of course. You know, you can see the rebar sticking out as we go, you know, uh, lift by lift as we go raise this, raise this up. And then this is all filled with concrete. Now, from an install standpoint, you can have solid concrete, rebar, foam, so this is a very indestructible wall. Now, on the interior, what's really important is the reason that Fox Blocks has their logo here and printing the styrofoam is to help us as the builder. On exterior walls, and we're typically Fox Blocks, we're only going to install them on the exterior walls because interior walls is wood framing. We've already enclosed the structure, so it's very rare to date that we've ever done an interior wall of ICF. It's always been exterior. So now let's talk about install. So what's different about the Fox blocks is that we're not having to fur this out. We're not gonna um, put wood on top of this, fur it out, just add an extra layer of time, material, labor, expense. This is the drywall will be mounted straight to the ICF block on the interior. Now with these brackets here, this, you know, we have special screws that'll screw right through the drywall into these brackets and that'll hold the drywall in place so that we can mount it direct. Now one of the questions, okay, well, what about you know, when we have electrical, right, that's on the exterior wall. Now, if there's plumbing, we do have to fur it out because we have to figure out a solution for plumbing walls, right? But typically, we'll make sure that all of our plumb walls are on interior walls and how we lay out the house. But for electrical and low voltage, which do come into play here, is we have a hot knife that'll cut out so we can cut a little channel down the face of this. We can run our electrical through. It actually staples into the foam. So then for inspection, everything can be stapled. That way it's not getting pinched when you're putting drywall. So run our hot knife, cut a channel, run our electrical, run our low voltage, and we can mount boxes in here too, thin pancake electrical boxes. So super convenient. It really isn't a ton of labor to do this. And then it's also super convenient, right? From all the benefits that come from ICF. Now, as you think about putting ICF in your build, one, you wanna definitely plan for this from the very beginning. Engineering is really important as you think about thickness of walls, footings, bearing points. 
um, especially how if, if it's a two-story home where you're going to put ledgers right and mount it and so there has to be a lot of design elements into icf it's not something you can get permanent just say i'm going to go from wood framing to icf this is a major structural engineering coordination for cost as you think about a build it really varies right there's so many variables depending on size of house accessibility lot size you know finishes i mean there's so many things going to square foot price typically our clients are spending between 10 and 20 percent more on the bill to go to icf as opposed to a traditional wood frame home but again for that benefit for the clients again to hit a high energy efficient rating you know which lowers your herd score looking at the dust you know bugs sound you know all these different benefits are hugely beneficial so stay tuned as we have more content coming on the icf and why so many of our clients are utilizing this in their homes